Hey Luke here with CaptainCarp.com and I'm here with the reanimated corpse of Mike from One Rod and One Reel and we are catching a ton of carp. We're doing the 100 pound carp challenge. So we're gonna see if we can catch 100 pounds of carp before it becomes Thomas' bedtime here. So check it out, you can see how the tide's really low here. We're actually about probably four feet low. And uh, having a low tide is good in this spot because it's a really shallow spot. So when the tide's up, the fish can, there's enough water for the fish to go out and forage and they, they spread out. When the tide goes low, there's only a few holes that are deep enough for them to hang out. So they concentrate. I always said Leo should come down here. I've caught 14 <laughs> species of fish right, right off these. 14? Hooks. Yeah, I caught what 14? walleye, what? I, uh, gar. I've, caught, I've seen paddlefish here. What? I've never seen paddlefish. Yeah, yeah. There's some good, better, bigger sized ones right in there. That's a big. That's a decent boy. I got a good feeling, Mike. You got a good feeling today? I got a good feeling. I like what I saw in the sonar. I like I like the weather. It's just, I got a feeling. All right, man, these conditions are awesome. And I think we're gonna do this. I think we're gonna catch 100 pounds of carp here before the sun sets. And I want you guys to get excited about this too. So if we can do this, if we can catch 100 pounds of carp today, I'm gonna give away this brand new NGT rig wallet to one of you viewers out there. So stay tuned. The end of this video, I'm going to tell you how you can win, and uh, let's see if we can do this. What is this you got here, man? This is Ponco Strawberry Jello and Sweet Corn. This is the oh. stuff. It's called a pack bait, and then I've got this inline lead. It's called a method lead. It's basically some lead here and these ribs, and you take this stuff and you squeeze it like this, huh? And it makes a little ball, and it's asymmetrical so that it lands right side up. And you take your hook and you jam it in there. And when it hits the water, it starts to dissolve and break up and the fish sucks that up. This right here is my rig. I've got a method lead, then a helicopter sleeve, then one of these quick clip swivels, a mini swivel, about four inches of leader, then a hair rig, a hair rig with a piece of uh, fake sweet corn on it. Yeah. He's on there. Dude, this is a little guy. That, you just cast it two seconds ago. Yeah. Oh, common. Common, all right. Right here. Fish number one. Get in the net. There we go. All right, here. Woo. What we do is lay him down on this mat over here. You see that? Right that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So lay it down so he, didn't get, so he doesn't get banged up. All right, on the green mat? Right? Yep, you got it, on the green mat. All right, trying to get too much stuff for your stuff wet. That's all right. It, we're going to get slimed. It's going to be intense. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's just going to happen. All right. But now you notice how it's right in the bottom of the lip? You'll never gut hook a fish with a hair rig. And well, I know okay. carp are very sensitive. What's the correct way to hold it? Sure. I've killed it before, and people say that's not correct. Yeah, yeah. hold them the under the belly and under or like the anal fin. Oh. Whew. I see Yeah, guy, and what huh? you do is if it starts to flop on you, like just kind of curl them into your, your elbows. Yeah, like Yeah, like that. And what we do is we put the unhooking mat underneath him. Okay. So that if you drop him, it's not as bad as if you know he just hit yeah. the deck. I heard uh, <laughs> if you're holding a carp, yeah, you don't want to stand and hold it if it's a big, if it's a big one. Yeah, you drop him, make it hurt. I mean, that goes with you know any big yeah. fish, you know. Well, here it is, guys. Fish number one. What do you think? About four pounds? Yeah, something like that. Looks good. Let's go pop him back. Pop him back. All right, All right see you, little buddy. It. Well, off he goes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Oh, you got one? Yeah, yeah right here. Yeah, check this out. Ooh, he's, that's a decent one for sure. Yeah, right in the bottom lip though, right? Dude, that's a good one. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. Not too bad. 
<laughs> that's over 10. That's way bigger than yeah, I expected. Yeah, that one's, that one's not too 15, big. Was that a 15? Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, let's. Beautiful fish. They're, they're just an awesome, hard fighting fish. I mean, this is great. What's the sling used for right here? Release them? Yeah, just, uh, yeah, it's for, uh, you can him? do a couple things with it. One, it's for weighing them. Also, if you have a really long fight with the fish, they get winded, you know? Mm -hmm. And then pulling them out of the water is like, it's like sprinting and then putting your head underwater. You, okay, you, you yeah. Know, it's kind of, it's a rough combo. This allows you to put them in the sling and you can throw it over the side, let them rest, and then, then take photos with them. Okay. And so it's a kind of a way of recouping them too. Yeah. It's well, it's about uh, almost 13. 13. Almost 13. Lucky number 13. Put him back in. All right. Nice job. Camp. He's on there. Yep. Oh. A lot of people hate on car, but they're great fighters. No, they're absolutely kicking the pants. Woo. They're a smart fish, too. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. All righty. Adding to the total. Yeah, let's see. Ooh, that's nice yeah, that's a carp. nice looking fish, man. I think he's... I, I think, think oh, we weigh every fish, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going to weigh him. Let's see where this guy got hooked. Right in the bottom. Oh, outside the mouth, though. Yeah, he kind of went in and out or something, yeah. There. Oh! Fish will wait. Let's see who's closer. Was that eight? Uh, yeah, let's call that eight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you win, dude. You got the car figured out. <laughs> dude, go. Woo. So that puts us to how many? Uh, eight plus 17, that's 25 pounds. 25 pounds. 25 pounds. About 15 minutes. Yeah. All right, thank you, thank you. Dude, he came out of the water for that one. Yeah, he, he nailed it. He went nuts. This is a better fish, I think. Okay, uh -oh. keep him out yeah. of that gear. Yeah. And don't let him go under that anchor line. Uh -oh. Little dude. All right. The action is completely popping off. Swing. All right. There we go. Ooh. Got a little pink in the tail. Oh, that's yeah. a pretty one. He yeah. hit it like a freight train, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, we heard him busting in the water. Hey, right. what does that say? That looks like five oh, and a half. Yeah. Oh, you're on point, man. You're on point. Hey, little fella. Another carp. I really should have been casting closer first. Because you got to drag the fish towards you, right? So you disturb yeah. everything in between you and you where you're you're fishing. So if you start close, you you catch those fish without disturbing the ones that are further oh, away. Yeah, yeah. But you catch the furthest one, yeah. you drag it all the way through, and you muck everything up. You know. Smart. Yeah. Makes sense. Fish on. We've been fishing for exactly 20 minutes. That one was uh, five and a half, right? Yes. Yep. Correct. So that picks us at 30 and a half pounds. So. That. Oh, dude, you catch all the big ones. What the heck? This is a 10 plus pounder. Well, you know, I'm like, oh, you take it, Mike. You take it. I want that one. <laughs> this is, how do you catch all the big yeah, ones? Look at that. That's not too shabby. It's like that with the, the fishing, you know, the catfishing. I, I think I let you reel all of them except for the last <laughs> you one. You got the big one. <laughs> yeah, Man. that's how that Luke rolls. That's a beauty. Oh, I want to look at the gold on his tail. Man, he's got a little bit of like shininess to it, you know? Yeah, that's a really pretty carp. I really like the hair rig. I think it looks oh, great. It is an awesome rig. I'm gonna say 12. I'm gonna say, I was gonna say 11 because it's a little skinny. Yeah. Let's. Oh, you win again. <laughs> 12 pounds. So that puts us at 42 and a half. 42 and a half pounds of fish. Wait, we've been doing it 20 minutes? 20 minutes. I don't remember ever catching 40. So we're averaging two pounds of fish per minute. Yeah, that's about right. That's I've never seen that before in my entire life. Carp fishing with a carp master. Let this me is American that. carp fishing. American carp fishing. Yeah. You gonna like my zombie blood? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my, Mike was. Oh, hit on, hit oh. on. Oh, oh. oh. Fish? why'd you go grab him, man? All right, all right. Woo. Zombie Mike wants zombie fish. <laughs> No, he doesn't know the little guy. Dude, you catch all the big ones. What the heck? I'm just a bigger guy. I need I need larger fish to, for, to I have. Bet, I bet the next fish is gonna be another giant. Sweet. Woo. Uh, Sometimes too, when you want to calm them down too, yeah. just 
do don't do? touch their eyes, but oh, just but your, just, just make it dark. Just make it dark, you know. Okay, I'll just like that. That works for a lot of animals, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, like that's four for sure. I think another five and a half. <laughs> You're thinking maybe, five and a half? Five and a half, again? maybe six. Dang it! <laughs> what? The? That looks like six and a half. <laughs> Man, right. you're on point. Another pretty carp, yeah, guys. Alrighty. You can't say no to a lot of big fish. I like Ooh. big fish and I cannot lie. <laughs> As I was saying before Mike was so rudely interrupted here, Mike was kind enough to make a guest appearance in my zombie apocalypse fishing video. Uh, so, which should be posting very soon if I haven't done it already. I don't know when I'm going to get this video edited. Any rate, so. Oh, yeah, so that's why he is looking so lovely. Why don't you go grab that one right there, too? Another fish on? Yep. So that one was six and a half, and we were at 42, oh, 42 and a half. So that should put us at 49 pounds. 49 pounds. Now that middle corner rod's done diddly squat, and you see how hot the action is. Yeah. So that's something. We, we're going to pick that one up and recast it because that's. That matters. Like that one little spot matters, huh? Yeah, well, it could be that just that one's like flipped over on itself, okay. or it's tied up, or it's just landed in a weird spot, or snagged up. You know, who knows? Who knows? A little bit to the left is where I've been popping it. Well. <laughs> you cast that just like a bass fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is. That. It gets it done. Job done. It gets it done. It gets it done. I was surprised that Jello hung on there. I was like, woo, he's yeah. whipping that. Go ahead, reel it, Tommy. It's hard for you to get the rod holder, Tommy. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Yeah, now go ahead and reel it. Okay, can, yeah, reel it like that. You got that. Look at that. You're reeling them in. This is a big one, too, and you're getting it. Because you've got polar bear strength. <laughs> 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 That's it. Reel them in. All right, Tom, can you hold on to that rod? If I let go of the rod, can you hold it? Yeah. There you go, Tommy. Go, Tommy. Go, Tommy. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Woo! You got him. You got him, Tom. Everyone caught a bigger fish than me today. Tommy, I caught the smallest fish today. And I caught the strongest fish today. You did catch the strongest fish today. Let's see. What we got? It's a like nine and a half and change. Nine so and a half. we're gonna call it ten. Look at that. Way to go, Tommy. That's your fish. Yeah, he looks like an angry striver. You ready? <laughs> oh, good release, Tom. There we go. Running off strong. My Can, buddy? Will you do a fist bump? Yeah. 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 Fist bump, we got it. Woo! Yeah, Tommy doesn't fist bump on the first trip. You yeah, know, he's yeah, yeah. yeah you know, you got you got to water it. Yeah, see that? Look at that steady pull. Yeah, that's a nice pull right here. Nice. Yep. That's no, I think it's. I think you're right. I think you're right. Oh, now he's heading for that anchor line. Either get him up or get him uh, to the left. Did oh. I do it? Oh. I did it. Oh, he's yeah. There you uh, go. That might be the new biggest of the day. That is a beauty. That is a beauty. You got it. All no right. denying. Woo. Woo. Dude, that yeah, might be I, think it. That, I think that might be that might be it. I'm done. I'm done. Go. Nope, I gotta go take care of business here. Oh, out. Oh. oh, we got another one. We doubled up. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh. There we go. Ooh. All right, weigh in this fish. Double up. Oh, that's a pretty one. Ooh, yeah, he's pretty. I like the color on this guy. Two 11 pounders. That is quite the double there, isn't yeah. that? That is a, uh, <laughs> that's a pretty big double. I've yeah. never had a double of a 20 pounds in my entire life. <laughs> oh, man, these are fun. These yep. are fun. Let's go get some more. All right. All right Put these back. Synchronized diving. Two, go. three. Oh, big splash. Reel it down and see if it hooks up. Yep. Yep. There yep. you go. He hooked up. He hooked up. Yeah, that's a good one. Nice. That was a good spot. They kind of school up in similar size fish. Yeah. So yeah, that's right where your 11 pounder came out of. That one's. That's a, maybe 10. Close to oh, 10. Oh no, no, I think that one's bigger than your 11 whoa, whoa, pounder. Whoa, whoa. 
I think that I think that one might. That, you think might be I think it might be the three? big one of the day. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Oh. You got him. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh you, we yeah. I got hold you. Hold that. There we go. Dude, this is action. Yeah, you tell me. Does that, that looks that looks bigger than your 11 pounder? Yeah, doesn't it? it's longer for sure. Yeah, he's and he's a chunky monkey too. He's got some weight to him. Woo! All right. Oh, it's your problem now. All right. <laughs> Might put us close over 90. Oh, nope. here's one right here. You got one? Oh, wow. This is, uh, this one's 14. 14. The 14. biggest fish of the day. So that puts us at 95 pounds. 95 pounds. That fish right there is going to do it. Yeah, this fish is not a five pounder. Oh, is he good? popped off. He popped off? He popped off. No. That's the final fish. Oh. My polar bear strength. Is it big? Oh man, look at that. Oh, thing. he's taking drag. drag. Oh, look at the shoulders on him. <laughs> you, you got the biggest he one looks, of the final fish. He looks pretty fat. <laughs> he is not a long guy, but man, he's a fatty. I, you catch all the biggest fish. Oh, would you pick up, pick up that net? Yeah, 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 sorry. Oh, look. Look at his toes. Oh, yeah, he is. He's a chunky monkey. Oh, I don't like monkeys. What we got here? I, I, I ate monkeys. Looks like 16 pounds. Biggest fish of the day, Six. final fish. So that puts it at 111 pounds. 111 pounds in two hours. Less than two hours, guys. Look at the time. We started at 3 o'clock. <laughs> Time is all right. Five oh six, just over two hours. Whoa. You want a picture of that man? Yeah, yeah, that's a beauty. All right. Oh, you got a picture on there. Oh, right? he's got a mutant. Uh, he's got a third fin. What? On the front. Check it out. What? He's got a nub. Where? On the, on his pectoral fin, where he's growing a third. Oh, fin. this right here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, what's that from? Is that from the? No, they just do that sometimes. They just have little mutations. Man, interesting. These, these fish can. Oh, he is fat. Look, look at the shoulders on that guy. I mean, what? Yeah, you gotta look at him from top. <laughs> oh, he is a fatty. Honest. <laughs> you are. Look at that. Look at that belly on that. <laughs> Woo. That's how we end the day, dude. 111 pounds of cat or carb. 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 <laughs> 111 pounds of carb. That's awesome. Yeah, maybe it was way closer to the first flight, but yeah, just like go around the railroad track. All right, we did it. 111 pounds of carp in just two hours. We rocked the 100 pound carp fish challenge. So I'm gonna give away this NGT carp fishing rig wallet, and I'm gonna put some rigs in it too for you. If you wanna win this, share this video, leave a comment, and I'm going to pick the winner from the comment. I'm going to respond to the winning comment and I'll announce the winner in my video one week from the day this is published, okay? And I'll even do overseas uh, contestants because I can ship this. So there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you love this video. Make sure to click subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos, including how to make five great carp bait recipes, including the one I used in this video. And check out our zombie apocalypse fishing challenge, where Mike gets horribly mauled by zombies. What? Subscribe now! <laughs>